Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a new chatbot known as Mind OS. Wow. It has some amazing features. What I really wanted as a user of any bot is to have a system where I can do the chatting, but I want some additional capabilities in the form of abilities. For example, why not send an automatic email? Why not manage my contacts or send a message to my contacts? Why not do the coding for me? Why not update my to-do list and my calendar? Why not search place for me to have some food or search restaurants? So these are some of the capabilities of or abilities here we call of Mind OS. And the important thing is that it has memories. <laughs> It has memories in the form of databases where we can add any of the tables or database which we will see in just a second. It has preferences. It will remember your preferences. If you ask it to not schedule some work on Sunday, it would happily do so. It has knowledge base. So if you think carefully at this point of time, what else do you need? We have a chatbot that has abilities to automate of many of the functions and you have memories that it will remember for you so having said that if you like this intro please continue watching this video and let us delve together uh, into this bot this is known as the mind os in using the mind os you can create your personal ai avatar so what i've done is that i've logged into the mind os software and after you logged in you go to my team and here you need to create your first bot or your personal ai which is this bot and you need to add you can add team members from your own creation or from the marketplace so you go to marketplace and in the marketplace you can see that there are tons of these bots that people are using and if you see this bot it has 99000 users this trip advisor it has 22000 users news genie 13000 users so pretty much people are using this for different tasks now these bots are created by the mind os team and while others are being created by the users like us and you can publish your bot here so you can see uh, the different kinds of bots that we have product hunter software developer mid journey helper marketing summer link blog writer therapist github trend watcher data analyst jenny so you have tons of different use cases different bots that you can add so what you need to do to add to your team here is to just hover around this bot and click on add to team so when you click on add to team it goes directly to your team here and then you can use this bot now before we go into the functioning of the bot let me show you the pricing of this bot so if you go to subscription here we can see that we get about 100 free credits uh, with your free plan and uh, it's 100 credits per month okay so i've been using this for two months therefore 200 credits so we have the pro plan as well so here you don't need to put your key or api key it uses open ai api key in the background so without getting or giving the 23 dollars for the open ai key or 20 dollars in your country maybe we can buy this pro version which is 29.9 dollar and you are going to see the capabilities of this bot uh, in just a second now you can also try this BYOK, which is bring your own key, which is $9.9 uh, per month. And this would help reduce the cost of yours if you think that you're not going to use that much um, of the bot. Now you can contact them for the enterprise. Okay, I will attach an affiliate link of this on my description. If you like, you can go through my link to get some 50 credits more on your purchase or you can just try to free plan but yeah i'm not here for the subscription i'm here for the innovation that these people at mind os have done now this was a dream come true because this is what i have been working on and trying to work on is that i need a chatbot 
who can help me go through the abilities it has a few abilities and it has memories the so first of all i'm going to show you the interesting part is the memories so if you go to memories we have a to-do list here so i have added a to-do list so take out the trash on 23rd of december so today is 19th of december so i have uh, given it the message or command to uh, to add in a to-do list to take out the trash you can add in here you can add in a new one and you can just save it here you can set the priority as well you can set the deadline as well so this is the to-do list and whenever you have any conversation with the bot here it is going to reply and keep in mind in memory the to-do list as well preferences you can add your preferences here whatever you like for example I've added this preference avoid Sundays for scheduling any work I do household chores on Sundays so it's not going to schedule any meeting or anything like that on the Sundays knowledge base you can add in web pages so I've added this Wikipedia web page on AI you can just click here and add up to 10 web pages and this is going to be its memory so we can further maybe increase this size but with 10 web pages it's pretty good you can add in documents as well 5 MB documents per document you can add in I think about 30 documents here and that is mind-blowing so you have 30 documents here 10 web pages here you have all the preferences it remembers you have the to-do list and the database and other tables that it will remember while answering your questions and that is its memory palace next we go to abilities so it has a bunch of abilities so for example customize newsletter so if you just switch it on and it can customize a newsletter for you so maybe at 8 30 every day it is going to uh, push a newsletter of the current news in your pins so if you go to your pins you can have this newsletter like this so if you click here we can have this newsletter on december 17 so this was for yesterday december 17 so this is the newsletter you can see the key points and all the details are being sent in a more in a compact way so this newsletter is sent for different persons this can be sent for different persons so in my case i have selected for the product manager so this articles will be written focusing on the keywords for the product manager so that it helps in my product manager work okay so in the pins you would get different custom uh, customized newsletters if i go back and go to my abilities so these are the automations that you can have productivity you can manage your emails read the emails send emails directly to your customers or contacts this is the manage calendar it can schedule meeting for you manage contacts it can directly email your contacts here to do list we have seen we can add task here we can review your to do list and you can add to do list code autopilot search real time info this is just a real time info it is not just but it's a very important thing that it has is the real time info now these are all the things that are coming up explore local places is already live you just need to click here and you can start the um, explore live places shopping attend the meeting and talk to customer service will be coming very soon and uh, having said that let's see let's uh, go to chat and here I have already done some chatting with this so you can see tell me the latest news on LLMs. so these are the latest news on LLMs. create a snake game uh, what is the schedule for me to take out the trash so I can just copy this and I can put it again so you can see the output and the speed and you have this little fun avatar that is pretty cool you're scheduled to take out the trash on december 23rd at 5 30 pm just a heads up that's not on a sunday so you're all set for chores on your usual day right you can see the schedule for taking out the trash is on 23rd of december and it has also mentioned that it is not a sunday because in the memory somewhere i have specified that i am not going to do any work in the preferences i'm not going to do any work on 
Sundays because I'm going to do the household chores. So this is what it remembers and it give me a heads up. So what you can do is that uh, can you uh, reschedule the trash day on let's say on 38 to 38 December 2023 so let us see if it can reschedule the work to 30 December so it's operating uh, the opening operating the to-do list here it's getting its thought process it's operating the to-do list and now let's see if it can change the to-do list from the 23rd December to 30th December your trash day has been successfully right. rescheduled to December 30th, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. Right. This is pretty cool. You can go to Memories now and you can go to Database and you can see that trash day has been reset to 30th December. Now you can see the potential. So with these things, you have the memory, you have the abilities, you have the chat. What more do you need? Now you can go to Canvas as well. Here you can do real-time or oh, real-time, you know, changes or talk with your document so for example you can open a link here and you'll see the link here and you can see in the you can specify the commands here so at the same time you can uh, work on visually with the document that you have uploaded now you can go to this doc.mindos.com to get a more detailed overview so let me show some of these so for the customized newsletter you have how to set this up personal automation you have everything uh, how to set this up basically it's just to click on the abilities and uh, you know just click on connect or manage context just switch or toggle this on then you need to import and authorize with google and that should be it so almost for all of the abilities this is the normal process that you need to do so in the case of memories you have these databases i have already explained this to you preferences these are the preferences that you like one man uh, or knowledge this is the knowledge base that you have now you can create a one-man army or you can create a team so we have already seen how to add a team we have seen the marketplace we have seen the canvas where you can add open the files on canvas and do the inference uh, by looking at the documents and selecting various parts of the documents now in order to create a new uh, in order to create a new team member what you can do is you can go and create new mind here after clicking on create new mind we have options to set the persona here so you can set the various avatars here you can select the voice here so select voice we have a bunch of voices that you can select you can put in a biography here how do you want it to greet you and you can put in general instruction as never specify for example that you are a mind os bot so some such kind of uh, instructions you can set up the knowledge base here you can set up the different skills that you have seen uh, in the uh, skill section as well you can set in memory so autonomy is yet to come but here you will have different kinds of autonomy for example code auto autopilot you have self-learning and the teamwork now this self-learning is something i am looking uh looking forward for because that would mean that it would learn from my interactions and that is what i am trying backend uh with my team here uh at prompt engineer and if that is something you want keep subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, we can one day see this self-learning in action now this is the option for publishing your bot so you can publish your bot to the marketplace and uh, you can have uh, people testing out your bot so you can see uh, you can earn credits as well so if you send this link to your friends you can earn a 50 credit per invite now i will as well attach the link for the credit but i don't expect anyone to click and go through my link but you can go to the mindos.com and you can just check this out this is pretty fun so if you like this video share this video like this video 
and subscribe to my channel join my community section to be a part of this amazing community that i have and uh, i'll see you in the next video watch the other videos on my channel have a nice day this is your host prompt engineer signing off bye bye this is mindos.com check this out